clutch trucker filmed before a live and furry studio audience. That's Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Uh, thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. Okay, this is a continuation of the video. Actually, I started recording the other day when I was still in Janesville, Wisconsin. Uh, it, I, I was, was putting that together with the one I'm talking about, the showers and the laundry and the, the, uh, the ass wagon four-wheeler and all that, and I realized it would all be way too long a video all in one. So, broke that down into that video, and now here's the part talking about uh, taking advantage of the split sleeper birth rule and another real-world example of doing so, and uh, an explanation all about recapping. Because somebody did ask me after posting one of my previous videos the other day, so what is recapping? Well, I try to give a brief exam, you know, a description in the comments, but I thought it, it deserves a whole video about that too because it can get kind of complicated. So now here it is Sunday morning. I'm in uh, Sunday morning, yes, the 22nd of November. I'm here in, at the Sap Brothers in Clearfield, Pennsylvania, the only Sap Brothers east of Illinois. I was trying to make Milesburg at the TA, uh, but I, I just didn't have enough time. Was, we're going to be short of that. Uh, so now we're going to continue from the video I started two days ago when I was still in Janesville, Wisconsin, talking about the load I had picked up uh, on Thursday. Well, after I got loaded yesterday in Jamestown, North Dakota, I uh, hot-tailed it over there to Fargo. I knew why I wanted to fill up there, and uh, I'd been chugging, been chugging a lot. And I talked about this in a couple of previous videos, or a couple of previous videos back, how I tried to buy, yeah, it was, uh, I tried to buy that uh, fuel filter at the TA in Hudson, but they wanted 27 bucks for it. And I thought, yeah, I could probably get it cheaper down the road. Well, I wasn't able to get one anywhere else. So I had to suck it up and uh, buy one from the Petro there in Fargo and pay the $27. Okay, so all of this is leading me to my example on my log of how I used the split sleeper berth rule to stop my 14. Because, uh, you know, yeah, I showed a half hour of uh, fueling and scaling and all that. Uh, I didn't put down that I changed the filter and stuff. You know, usually I note everything on my log, but you know, at that point I'd wasted so much time and then I knew my uh, wife was probably, uh, she was just about to call. I wanted to talk to her. I, I still wanted to check the air pressure and all my tires because I felt a little vibration and take care of that issue too. So I just went ahead and went off duty and then was able to take advantage of the split sleeve rebirth and I'll show you on the log. All right, here we are on the 19th and uh, dropping down to the log here. Yes, we show you show. I started my day there at 1215 and uh, dropped down to pre-trip Bismarck, North Dakota. Uh, and this, since this is real logs, it doesn't have the fun names like, you know, Short Hairs, New Jersey and Fish Guts, Ohio and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, then uh, went on duty or went driving for 1230 to 145. It actually took me till about 150 to get to uh, my pickup there in Jamestown, North Dakota. But as I've said before, since I have to do everything on a paper log in 15 minute increments, then um, I was only five minutes into my next 15, so I counted that. But I keep my timer up here, so I keep an accurate account of what my day really is doing. And uh, here, let me reset it. You see right there, I keep the 14 on the top and the 11 on the bottom. Uh, so there's two different timers on there. So that's how I really keep track of my actual time. Okay, so then uh, showed loading for 15 minutes, then went off duty or back into the sleeper berth for an hour, and then I showed I left at 3. I really didn't leave till 3.05 because I used that extra five minutes from right there, okay? Because I'm keeping track on my timer. Then drove for an hour and 15 minutes over there to Fargo, and I put fuel and scale. I'm so used to writing cat scale that I had to scratch that part out. So fuel and scale, Fargo, North Dakota. All right. And then I showed, like I say, a half hour of doing stuff like that, and then shot up to off-duty at 445. And look, I was off-duty from 445, 545, 645, 745 to 830. Three hours and 45 minutes. But because you can count that as the first of a split sleeper birth break, that stopped my 14. Because remember, I started at 12.15 p.m. My 14 would have ended at 2.15 a.m. But because I stopped for three hours and 45 minutes, that means my 14 now does not end until 6 a.m. the next day. So when I finally got back on the road at 8.30, dropped back down there to drive, 
drove until 11.15. That's where I got my pizza there at the Quick Trip in Clearwater, Minnesota. Mm -hmm, beautiful thing. 15 minutes. Went back on duty until midnight. And then, of course, we have to shift to the next day's log. All right, now somebody asked me on the la after the last video uh, when I talked about recapping, they said, well, what is recapping? Well, okay, here's recapping. Put my hat on, take it off. Oh, put it on again. I'm recapping. All right, I know it's a bad joke. Okay, this is recapping, okay? Because you, you see I had 59.7 hours total on the week for my eight days. All right, remember we get 70 hours in eight days. Okay, so that's what I had at the beginning of today, 59.75, which gave me 10.25 total hours to drive and be on duty. I didn't even have a full 11 hours available of driving. Okay, I did 6.75 hours of driving and on duty. You go back over here to the, uh, to the uh, line three, that's the driving line, 5.75 plus one on duty. Okay, gave me 6.75. All right, so what we do is we take that 59.75, we add that 6.75 to it, and that'll give us, for tomorrow's log on the week, 66.5 hours. But, because we're recapping, and this is where that list comes in, these are my last seven days before today, being the eighth day, I go up to the top, which was eight days ago, and I subtract that 7.75, okay? And that brings us to 58.75 hours for tomorrow on the week. And if you subtract that from 70, that means tomorrow I'll have 11.25 hours. I'll show you that part of that log. Okay, just what I was talking about. So 58.75 hours total on my week. Okay, and uh, subtract that from 70. There's my 11.25. That's what I have available for uh, the next day, which, which is now today being the 20th. I love this date, by the way. 11, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Anyway, just a fun date. Okay, so I have 11.25 hours because I was able to pick up that 7.75 hours. Now, tonight at midnight, I'll pick up 7 hours. Tomorrow night at midnight, I'll pick up 10.75. Next night, I'll pick up 6.75. You keep recapping. You keep picking up those hours from that eighth day every day until you do a 34 reset and that's basically what it comes down to if you don't do a 34 reset before your eighth day okay where it, which gives you a full fresh 70 for the whole week for the next eight days then you're recapping you are constantly then pulling up that uh the hours from that eighth day and adding it back in to your week that's recapping so that's a long way to get there but it takes some explanation, and that's how you do it. I don't mind recapping. Generally, a lot of times, uh, you're not any worse off by recapping than if you uh, got a reset. Now, say maybe you ran really hard every day, like 10 to 11 hours every day for six, seven days, yeah, yeah you might need that reset, or else you may not pick up any hours for one or two days, and then you're kind of stuck in the mud. This is why I waited to uh, get going until just after noon yesterday because then I knew at midnight I'd pick up hours because like I said earlier I didn't even have a full 11 to drive but at midnight I picked up some more hours from that day uh, from that eight days ago and so I was able to keep going and push it just a little bit farther okay so back on 11 20 20 20 20 20 all right after midnight I kept driving till 2 30 in the morning and I stopped at uh, Black River Falls, Wisconsin. That's where I got the, the begging strips for Rusty and the chocolate chip cookies for me. Uh, did a half hour break just in case I wanted to maximize my 11 uh, because I would have needed to do it again by then, but I didn't. I ended up just driving two hours and 15 more minutes right there to 5.15 a.m. And I went ahead and fueled at Janesville, Wisconsin. Went ahead and did a post trip because I wasn't sure if I'd be driving again before midnight tonight and uh, you, like I said before, you have to show either a pre-trip, a mid-trip, or post-trip every day. And just because it looks better on the log, even though I did it at the beginning of my trip, I just went ahead and said, yeah, fuel and post-trip, big deal. So I could fill that part of my log out and say, yep, no problem. Check the box for everything's fine. Sign my name, blah, blah, blah. So I'm all good to go.
Sign your name across my heart. I want you to be my baby. Can you name that reference? So as my kids like to kid me that I say way too much, my whole point being, you see how I was able to stop my 14 where it should have ended at 2.15 a.m., but because I took three hours and 45 minutes off, and according to the FMCSA's rules on the split sleeper birth break, neither period counts against your 14, so I can count that whole three hours and 45 minutes as stopping my 14. So as long as I pair that with a seven hour break in the sleeper birth later, which I will, I'm gonna be here in more than, much more than a seven hour break. Hell, I was already in doing laundry, and uh, taking a shower, which yeah, I know, technically I need to say I was just off duty and I wasn't in the sleeper birth, but who's gonna check on that? Come on. I'm gonna do at least a 10, probably more than that, because yeah, I probably won't leave until after midnight. So that'll be the second part of that split sleeper birth break. You can do more. Remember, as I've always said in all my hours of service videos, they can't get pissed at you for resting more, right? Mm -hmm. Recapping is a skill every driver needs to know how to do uh, because, you know, for one, like I've said before, your e-log e may crap out on you. Two, uh, your e-log calculates it for you, but you need to be able to look at that and look ahead and know what's coming up and what you're going to be uh, picking up if you don't do a 34 reset that week, for example. When I used to well, work for well companies, and ran PeopleNet, and I worked for Indian Creek Express and ran PeopleNet, yes, in this truck, um, sometimes I wouldn't get a reset that week, and I'd say, all right, look, here's all I have coming up, so you can't, you know, send me maybe as far as you would normally because I won't have the hours. This is all I'm going to be picking up. So you need to know how to do that. I ended up going ahead and taking a full 34 off because um, uh, my boss, Rashad, called me on Friday just about the time I was going to bed and said, uh, Hey, we found a load picks up for you in Ware, W-A-R-E, Pennsylvania, no, Massachusetts, after you deliver um, Monday morning, that goes all the way to Portland, Oregon. And I said, well, as long as we can make it deliver uh, the following Monday so that I can go through the house for Thanksgiving, then that'll work. So uh, he was able to book that for me. It's a good paying load, and I'll get a be home for Thanksgiving. I'll get home uh, sometime Thursday morning, be able to spend the rest of all day Thursday, all day Friday, and... Uh, Saturday morning till about noon there at the house so that's gonna work out good for me so that's what's happening. So to show you the rest of that day on Friday where I went ahead and did a full uh, 34 off uh, let me show you how that works with the split sleeper berth. So going back to my log at 11 20 20 20 20 anyway you can see yeah I uh, ended up fueling at 5 15 in Janesville Wisconsin till 5 30 went off duty all right then stayed off to, or on sleeper berth all the way to the end of that day's log, okay? And because I did the split sleeper berth, or earlier where I did that 3.75 hours off duty, had to pair that with at least seven hours in the sleeper berth, that's the key, is the wording says at least seven hours. Well, there you go. I did more than that in the sleeper berth. I did, look, a total of 18.5 hours. I went ahead and took a whole 34. And that seven hours in the sleeper berth is within that section there so that still counts they can't force you to drive again after seven hours they can't force you to drive when you don't feel rested or you wanted to take a full break that's a beautiful part about the new rule you can take that uh, break earlier stop your 14 and then later take a full 10 or more take a full 34 like I did after Rashad called me about that new load I realized I would not have enough hours left on the recapping to make it all the way to uh, Boston to pick up my, or to deliver my load and to pick up the next one in Ware, Massachusetts and then make it all the way back to Cheyenne, Wyoming by Thursday morning. I needed a full reset so that's why I went ahead and did that. So you can see up here on 11 2020 I stayed in the sleeper berth until right there at 3.30 p.m. my 34 reset came up. I went ahead and uh, waited, and I went ahead and cooked some of uh, those tacos, and that's that video. And um, anyway, I uh, went back on duty at 5.30. Dropped down, and I show, of course, pre-trip, Janesville, Wisconsin, for 15 minutes. Drove for a half hour. Took a quick break in uh, Loves Park, Illinois. Uh, and I drove another half hour, took another quick break in Hampshire, Illinois. My stomach was feeling a little weird. Uh, then drove uh, till Plymouth, Indiana. 
took uh, 45 minutes and then dropped back down to the drive line and got me until midnight, all right? But I was able to show that 34 reset. So now if you look, my previous seven days really don't seem to matter. I had 56.75 available today or for that day and then, but I showed uh, a reset so I had 70 available. So I always uh, notate it with a little circle and an R, meaning reset. Only drove 5.25 hours. So that's why I wanted to show this. I just thought that would be a great example of how to take advantage of the new uh, FMCSA hours of service rules and the split sleeper birth break, because I did it right there on yesterday and today's log. I was able to stop that 14 for three hours and 45 minutes because I was doing other stuff and, and yet then I was able to continue on to the destination I wanted to get to in the first place. Under the old rules, I would have had to stop way short, which would have just hacked me off, right? All right, for those of you who have never heard of recapping and, uh, you know, because the e-logs do everything for you and that's where I kind of am one of those, yeah, I'm more old school. But, you know, everyone needs to know how to do paper logs, and that's part of the reason I keep doing these videos. Because it's your, your log's going to crap out at some point. Your e-log probably will break on you. Like a wire will break on you or something stupid like that, and it may be shut down for days. You need to know how to do the paper logs, and you need to know how to do the recapping. Okay, so this is just basic trucking stuff that, uh, yeah, if you've never heard about before, you've never heard of recapping, you don't know how to do it, that's how to do it. And another good example of using that split sleeper berth break to your advantage. So you can take a longer break if you need to just rest or you just want to like call my wife and talk to her on the phone, stuff like that, and kill that time. And yet you can still make it to your destination if you uh, use that split sleeper berth break. <laughs> what, what are you doing? <laughs> Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. Uh, please like if you'd like to. Please comment. I get your comments. Sometimes it takes a day or two. Uh, hit that ring or ring that bell for notification. As always, sniff that magic YouTube very dust. Clutch and rusty. Out.